Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to take a duct tape whirly bird. Um, you drop it in the air and it twirls down. So I'm just going to show you how that works quick. Here's the whirly bird. And I drop it and it twirls. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Okay. So what you need is some graph paper, something to write with, and a stapler. So first what you're going to do is make a box that is four squares. It's four squares by eleven squares. So one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think that's eleven. Okay, so now you do four this way. Just connect these two lines. So there's your box. So first what you're gonna do is count up one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five boxes up and draw two little lines that go into the box, only one square. It makes more sense if I turn it this way, so then it'll be right side up for you. So, here's the bottom part. Now you're going to draw a dotted line from the edge, the outer point of these lines to the bottom, and then you're going to count up one, one line and draw a dotted line across that. Okay. So now from these two lines, you're going to count up one, two squares and draw a dotted line all the way across. And then you're just going to go to the middle of this, so that would be right here. You're going to draw down to the dotted line. So that's your basic layout. So now you're going to cut it, cut it out. It doesn't have to be perfect because it still flies, even if it's not cut or drawn perfectly. So and you can experiment with like how long you want these to be. You can like change the proportions. Stuff like that. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut along all solid lines on here. So you're gonna cut along this one and these two. So first what you're going to do is fold along this dotted line and this dotted line so that these, this edge is in the middle. Now you're going to fold this bottom square so you're going to count up one and then fold that up. There you go. So now you're going to staple it so that there's a staple that just keeps this held down. Oh, it won't go in. There you go. So then you just staple it like that. So now you're going to fold this one towards you along the dotted line and fold this one away from you along the dotted line. So then you take them and put them at about I'd say I don't know like a 45 degree angle so that or I don't know so that they're like that this way they're about 90 degrees apart. So if you want to just test it first so I'm going to show you how it works again. Okay, so this is a really fun project, and fun to play with too, so thanks for watching.